it's Vicky. Welcome back to my little place for happy things and thoughts. Valentine's Day is almost here, which means that it is time for all things red and pink and heart-shaped and sweet. And so if you are familiar with my channel, you know that I love my furry friends and I love making things for them. And if you're here, you probably love them too. So I thought I would create a video showing you how to make some super cute DIYs for them that include something that they could eat, a little something they could play with, and something that they could wear. So with that said, let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing that I'll be showing you how to make are some frozen strawberry yogurt treats that are perfect for the pup in your life who has a sweet tooth. To make these, you are going to need a hearts mold. I found mine at Ikea. You can make these with any mold you would like, although of course the point here is to make them Valentine's Day themed. You're also gonna need one cup of plain yogurt and strawberries. I used about three for this recipe. Once you've got all your ingredients, simply dice the strawberries into little squares. Once chopped, place them in a bowl and then mix in your one cup of yogurt. Once done, mix the ingredients all together and then pour your mixture into your heart's mold. After that's done, give them a little tap so that they could set and then place them in the freezer for about two hours or longer. Once they're frozen, this is what the end result should look like. I think they're just the cutest. And actually, they are human friendly too, so if you wanted to eat these, you could. My dogs went absolutely nuts for these. My dog, Charlie, actually loves anything that's cold. He loves to have ice, so these were just perfect for him. Up next, I'm gonna show you how to make a heart-shaped dog toy, perfect for the pup in your life who loves to play with toys. To make this, you are gonna need some fleece material. Here I have mine ready and already folded in half. The amount of material depends on the size you wanna make your toy, so if you want a bigger toy, use more material. And here I am tracing a heart shape. After you have traced the heart, you are gonna cut out the surrounding material. It doesn't have to be perfect at this point just yet, but you're gonna cut it out in sort of the shape of the heart. And then with your fleece material still overlapped, you are going to cut fringes out all around the heart like I am doing so here. Once your fringes are cut out, you are going to tie the top and bottom fringes together. And when you are tying these, make sure to leave at least three spaces because the next step requires you to stuff it with some polyfill. Once your pillow is nice and stuffed, you can go ahead and tie the rest of the fringes. And then you can take your scissors and even out the fringes to give it a better, nicer heart shape. And then after that, you are done. When stuffing it, you can always put a squeaker in there too, but my dog tears through every single toy, whether store-bought or homemade, so I didn't want to put something in there that he could possibly choke on. So this was just fine. It worked great for him and he absolutely loved it. He went crazy for it and he still loves it. I mean, it's a little beat up now, but that's what it's for. And I guess he just has something against hearts this time of year. And for the very last DIY, I'm gonna show you how to make a collar bow for that very dapper pup in your life. To make your bow tie, you are going to need some fabric, of course. I found this Valentine's Day themed one over at Joann's. And so before I even start, I'm gonna cut a long piece of fabric off my bigger piece, and I'll show you why in just a bit. And then taking the larger piece in the shape of a rectangle, this one is about 10 by 6 inches, but the size is up to you. I'm folding it in, as you are seeing here, into a smaller rectangle. Once I have it folded in the way I'd like, I'm going to open it up again, and then I'm going to add some hot glue to the inside in order to hold the rectangle together. And I'm adding this just to the corner of the fold. Next, you are going to scrunch up the center of the rectangle in order to form a bow and then add a drop of hot glue in order to keep the shape in place. Next, take your long, thinner piece of material that you saved earlier and roll it up the long way like I'm doing here and then add some hot glue to the edge and finish rolling it up. And remember guys, this is a no-sew bow tie, but if at any time you wanted to stitch this or sew it, you can do that too. 
next you are going to take your strip of material and wrap it around the bow tie at the center. You're going to wrap it around two times and add hot glue every time in between. With the remainder of the strap, you are going to form a loop and then attach the corner of that loop with some more glue. Once dry, you can cut off the excess strip of material and then there you have it. You now have a bow tie that you could fit through the collar of your dog. I almost forgot to mention when you are creating the loop, make sure that you measure it against your dog's collar so that the buckle can go through the loop. A super easy DIY to help make your dog look a little more handsome on Valentine's Day. I loved this one so much. I think it's super cute for pictures or it's a perfect little outfit for them to wear on a play date to the dog park. That is all for this week's video. I hope that you guys have fun with these DIYs. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Wishing you a super happy Valentine's Day with your furry friends and sending you a big virtual hug. My name is Vicky and I will see you guys next time.